If you're having issues trying to install the latest firmware on your Logitech MX devices, this video is for you. If at any point during this video it helps you out, you get something out of it, be a peach and leave a like, share or comment or whatever, clean the house, cook me some dinner. The YouTube magic is very much a thing and I would greatly appreciate your guys' support. Oh, and you can head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. Apparently there's some cool merch over there. Be sure to buy something just so I don't get canned. Anyway, on to the video. So Logitech, just like every other manufacturer, is going to put out some firmware updates for their devices. Over the weekend, I got indication that there is a new firmware update for my MX keys and also the uh, MX Master 3 mouse that I have. However, when I went into the options software to try to update that firmware, every single time it would fail. So I wanted to make a video about this that says, hey, if you're having issues just like I was, I'm gonna show you and walk you through the steps on how to use Logitech's firmware update tool to kind of bypass the option software in order to advance your device's firmware. Now, at the time of this video, I contacted Logitech. They did not have or provide any in-depth information as to what this firmware update did. So as of right now, it was just some general bug fixes and my speculation is they're releasing a new software called Options Plus where they're redesigning the architecture and the user interface and making everything kind of a little bit more seamless. My guess is the firmware update is to kind of prepare those devices for that new Options Plus software release, which we're actually gonna be doing a full video on. We're gonna be looking at the changes that they made. So we'll dive into that in a different video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this process. So first things first, you're gonna to want to download the firmware update tool. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to open up your browser of choice. I'm just using Google Chrome in today's demonstration. Should automatically detect your operating system once you get to this website. Of course, the link will be down in the video description. I'm on Windows 10, so it's selected Windows 10. If you're on Mac, it should select that. If not, then you can click on this little option or this little arrow right up here and choose your operating system. And if you need to go to Mac, you can click the little plus and it's listed in there. So you're most likely going to want to leave it on 64-bit. If for any reason it's still not showing you whatever download you're looking for, click on show all downloads. But this is a pretty good automation when it detects your operating system. So you're going to click on download now once you've uh, found your download. Once you've downloaded the software, you can just run it directly from the browser or navigate to wherever it was to run it. So we're going to click the run and it should look just like this. This is the welcome to the Logitech firmware update tool. This is very similar to what Logitech options looks like. From here, you're going to go ahead and click on continue. Now I've already updated the firmware on my MX mouse, so it's automatically going to detect that as up to date. However, once you click on continue, it should detect your devices let you know that they are due for a firmware upgrade and start going through the upgrade process for each one. So let it go through that process and once you've been, uh, once it's completed, you can click on close. Now, one thing that I also ran into when I was trying to update some of the firmware on my devices is it was getting confused on some old uh, devices that were connected to my unified receiver. And that's what the firmware tool will read when it goes to update that firmware. So what you have to do is open up Logitech Options and you're gonna want to come on down to where it says Add Devices down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Open up the Advanced Unifying app and it should look just like this and you're gonna have an option that says Advanced down here as well. Now, if you don't have Logitech options, you can download the unifying software by itself. I'll post that link down below as well. However, you're gonna click on advanced and it's gonna show you your unifying receiver and then everything else that's paired underneath it. This is of course, if you're using the USB dongle, if you're connected with Bluetooth, it's not gonna show up in here. This is just if you're using the unifying USB receiver. What I had to do is I had some old hardware that was connected to this receiver. I had to click on it and then unpair each one of those. And then I was able to successfully update the firmware using the update tool. Now, for any reason, if that update tool still doesn't work and you're still having some trouble, come back into this software and you'll notice there's an update firmware option down under here. If it detects that it's using an old firmware version, this will not be grayed out. You'll be able to click that and you can follow the on-screen prompts to update the firmware that way. So. There's a couple of different ways that you can update the firmware, go through, clean out your receiver if you need to, but of course use the Logitech unifying or the Logitech uh, firmware update tool primarily 
to see if you can get your stuff updated. So that's all there is to it. Pretty simple to do. Um, if the update does fail, just do the obvious thing, reboot the computer, reboot the devices, and then try the update tool again. Um, as of right now, I haven't seen any issues with this firmware update. Like I said, it's not very significant to my knowledge. I think it's just to prepare it for the new software, but if you guys are having some issues or whatever, please reach out to me in the comments. I'll do my best to get to those as soon as I can. Um, other than that, that's it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Again, if you got something out of it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, help us out, help us grow the channel, and uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Peace. <gasps>